Hey everyone, I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to be doing a nice, um, like not a simple look, but something that I would absolutely wait to work. It's the weekend, poor Martin is not well and he's in bed, so I've got the sitting room to myself. It's a horrible day though. It's like raining, wind, and you'll, you'll barely hear it. It's really noisy. It's booking the dogs out because the letter boxes keep going. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a look that you can wear for work. Um, well, you you probably, well, yeah, you might actually want to. I was going to do something else. I was going to do like a green and gold. And I'm going to do that. But just first, I'm going to do this look because something I've wanted to do for a while. And it's something I did wear kind of at work the other day. But I didn't finish it off properly. I just quickly stuck it on my fingers in the toilets. So I'm going to hopefully you'll enjoy this one. First of all, I've already put some of this on. I've just finished a, a tube of it and I'm really sad. I'm going to have to buy some more. Really lovely stuff and I can't. I'm over the moon for Pixie Rose sending these because they've got us right into them. I've always loved the primers. The other one was a L'Oreal Infallible. Really nice one. So, I've got my little squishy squishy. It's all damp, ready to go. I've been using this here, Milani Perfect. Concealing Perfect 2 in 1. This one's Creamy Vanilla, number 1. It's really, really good for me. Love it. And it's a nice consistency. So I'm going to quickly go in with that all over. And then what we'll do is we'll crack on, get the eyes on. But I really hope these are keeping well. That's a bit like that, isn't it? I wanted to come on here the other day because like, I wanted to do another video. But I was feeling absolutely horrible about myself. I put quite a lot of weight on. And you know what it? You know when you can put weight on but it's not quite in your face yet? Well it's starting to creep into my face. So you can't hide it when it's there kind of thing. And it was just spoiling the way I felt with makeup on. And I just thought, you know what? So I did half of a video and then I just switched it off. And that's not like me. I always like, you know, but I was just so upset with myself. So it's been a couple of days now and we've been looking after ourselves diet wise. So I had fish salad for, for lunch with some avocado, yogurt and mango. No more chocolate. Got to pack it in. I'm just so addicted to the stuff. And I, and like I said, my willpower is gone. And I can know I can do it because I've lost loads of weight before. Five and a half stone is not easy to lose, but I did it. And I kept it off as well. I even stopped smoking. And that's good. And then when I stopped smoking, I put about a stone a bit back on. And and then I thought, right, get a grip again because it's coming back on. Got rid of that. Got right back down to where I was, which is about 9 to 1, 3. I look a bit thin at that, but it's comfy for us because a lot of my clothes fit nice. But even if I just get to 9 stone, 8, something like that, I'll be happy. But I'm like just over 10 and a half and I'm not comfortable at all. Especially since we don't, we kind of keep getting a uh, uniform at work ordered. You only get so many goes and, um, well... I don't want to burst out these pants and have to order more in because I don't think I'll be able to order more in. So I'll have to go like, um, <laughs> I'll have to just tie them up or something and I'll, no, I'm not going there. got to get over, I've got to get it done. So I know what I need to do, so I'll get that done. Get that over my nose. But it's so irritating because why, you know when you get in a habit, it takes about a week to break that habit for me. And it's just starting it. Once I get going, I'm really good. And I like I love eating healthy. I absolutely adore healthy food. So it's not that I don't. And I'm like, um, I can't eat porridge, unfortunately, because it makes us feel really weird. Like I feel like I've been strangled all day. I can't eat bread. Same again. I feel like I've been strangled. Just does something to me, my throat. It's weird. But um, I've got to be careful with dairy as well. But usually, like, I'll just, I fast until afternoon anyway, but I was eating too much of the wrong stuff and then having hot chocolates all day and, oh man, it's not good. Right, we're on, we're on. Probably have to fill in a bit more of that, but I'm going to do that after the eye makeup. So first of all, I've got a couple of palettes we're going to play with today. And I thought you might like this one again, because I know a lot of people ask for it. It's the Jeffree Star palette. I wanted to go, I was, this is the one I'm going to use, not today. But in another video with the gold, I'm really looking forward to that. But I'm going to go in with maybe the light colours and this one at the top spiralling. So, but first of all, I'll show you the other palette. This one's a mess and it's my fault. 
Well, it's not. It's the, it's the delivery fault. Look at it. It's my Backstage Beauty one. I love it. The colours are gorgeous. But that black cracked and it's ruined the palette. It's made a mess. And, it's, and I've wiped everything off. But then I've wiped the names off as well. So I can't even tell you what I'm using. Bless. Right. They did offer I send another one. But I don't want to take another one. It's not fair. Especially if I didn't pay for it. This was given free. But um, let's have a look. So I'm probably going to go in. Actually I might use the bestie out of this or babe. Babe or bestie. Nice neat little colour for a background. This is the one I'm going in with by the way on the bottom. It's called 420 and it is stunning. So I'm going to be using that. Shall I do that? Yes, right. Okay. So first of all, I've got to be careful what I do with it. It's very powdery. I've got some Inglot. 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 It's Inglot. Isn't it Inglot? Sasha, your dad said it's Inglot. But I thought it was Inglot. And I've got some Fenty Beauty highlight that I'm going to use. So I'm trying to use a little bit of everything. Um... There's a girl called Scarlett, you know who you are, your boyfriend wrecked your um, makeup palette which was makeup set which is absolutely disgusting. I've been putting bits and pieces aside for you and I've just getting three little palettes to go in with your package. I'll get that out in the post for you. Really hope it helps you. It's not a mega amount, I know. I feel bad that it's not but I can't do that at the minute. Um, and also I can't give a load of stuff away that I've just getting because loads of people have given me some lovely makeup. I want to get a lot of that used up but I've done my best and I've put your little package together and I hope you like it I will get that in the post this week right let's get on because we're not going to get anything done at this rate are we? where are we? I did have my Urban Decay Primer portion but it's missing right well I'm not going to cry about that it's somewhere right I'm using e.l.f. eye lips face I don't even know if you can still get these but I'm going to do this eye on camera for you today because it's the one with the light that's dark and every time this one goes on really quick and fast afterwards and then the other one doesn't I'm going to give you as a treat well I'm going to give myself a treat make it easier right up there I was going to go the whole way but I don't know if I've got the guts. You know when uh, on Instagram they've got like a, it's like a visor and then they paint their eyes on. But I don't think I really need to do that. Not today. Okie dokie. So I'm going to get ready and get some. Oh I've dropped my brushes. I bet you that's the one I need. I'm going to go ahead and get some. Yeah, yeah, right. Bestie. Is it Bestie? No. Yes, Bestie. This one up here, I'm going to go in with that. It's like a, a light pale powdery coffee. Zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. Come on. There we go. Slow like make the day. Right, okay, I hope you can see. I hope it's not too dark. Oh, this is really powdery. Look at that. Be careful. She's going to get some pole out. I'm going to just get this on. I want this as like a background crease base. Yeah, I did the, I did do the green the other day in the video. And I love the colours. But I think I need to practice a little bit more on my um, cut crease. Because, you know, I've never, I've never claimed to be a makeup artist. I'm not. I went to college. I did do um, a makeup and beauty course. That was years and years and years and years ago. Got my certificates. I'm naturally creative more than academic. I love being arty. I love playing with colours and putting things together and having fun. So I know there's been a few comments, people saying that I do the same look over and over and they don't like the way I do it. And I don't even know what to say to that really. Like you know I'm really grateful for people watching but if you don't like what I'm doing I don't know why you're watching and it's funny because my grandma always said if you've got nothing nice to say don't say anything at all but we're all entitled to our opinion and I've got to be honest I'm not I'm not really I'm, I'm not amazing at doing makeup I love muckle about and I love having fun and I love coming up with wearable stuff that you can wear and I love inspiring you and I know by your emails that I do get so many people saying how much I inspire them to get their makeup out play because they haven't done it or they're, they're, 
they're not used to different colours or I don't know, you know, just having the confidence to mess about. So that alone is why I do it. But I am really doing my best and trying to learn as much as possible. I've been following a few people on Instagram, seeing what they do for the best. Anyway, let's get this on before forgetting. I was 420. Look at the colour of that one. I've smashed it in a bit because I was messing about. I used the Urban Decay as like a cut crease and what else? It doesn't pick up on the brush now very well because of it. Still goes on though. I'm going to pop a bit of there, look, let's see. Look at that. Nice and shimmery, isn't it? And it's such a lovely look. And this is what I wanted to perfect for work. All I did the other day was stick my finger on this and pop like it on the eyelid then stick a little bit of black liner on and off I went and it was stunning and it lasts all day it doesn't even budge it's really good stuff I like this really really like this soft soft and wearable I do like the outlay looks as well by the way but you've got to wear something that you can feel comfortable in and because I'm getting older my eyelids aren't the same so some of the harsh colours are just not working for us anymore so um, never mind I wish they would but I did try the green the other day and on top of feeling horrible about myself my hair even though I had just washed it it looked really greasy you know what I'm on about by the way if you've got hair it just, you know, when you've just come out of the shower, you've just dried it and you think, right, okay. And then you see yourself, you think, what? It just looked like I'd use a load of product. And I was like, ah. I was fuming with myself. I just thought, right, that's it. And I got halfway through the video and I'd used the greens. And I was like, that green looks lush in the palette. It looks horrible on me. I was really annoyed with myself. And I thought, right, I cannot upload that because I was just so upset. But I'm going to try it again. My hair looks a little bit cleaner today. But it's just so mad. You'll know what I mean. Right, we'll all get days where we get like that. But that's your, look at it. 420, it's beautiful. Now, I'm going to go in with a little bit of spiralling. And I've never used this colour before. Hope it serves as well. Yes, spiralling. Oh. Speaking of that, have you sleep paralysis? Look at that, that's a funny one. Have you ever had that before? It's horrible. I didn't know what on earth it was at first. I remember lying in bed and I was asleep, I think. Yeah, I was asleep. And it felt like someone had crawled onto the bed. You know, you can feel someone getting onto the bed. And I, I tried to turn around to see what it was or who it was. And I couldn't move. But I had this image of a dark, shadowed person. And I don't know why, but I did. Horrible. Ugh. And that was actually when I wasn't well, believe it or not. I was getting lots of weird sleep things. And it, it's um, every now and again, I'll get s nightmares. Weird, sleepy, just, just weird nights. And I think, okay, you're getting stressed again. Calm down. Because it always starts with sleep problems. And then honestly they can get on top of you. I'm just putting a little bit of that on the outer corner. And I'll pro probably blend that over. There we go. Lift it up and push it in. There we go. I love that so soft and I would totally totally wear this when I'm out I love it can't wait to play some more I'm going to be giving, doing some more looks today because I've got the day and there we go I, that's that I'm going to leave that I'm going to put an eyeliner on I did have shall I use that mm. I'm going to try where is it I can't use this the eye coat I love it but I used this the other day and I noticed that it just picked my eyeshadow up and it wouldn't put any colour onto my eye on here so I'm going to use Glossier again I'm sorry I know it's all the same same but you know when you get a product and you love it and I like I want all the looks that I do to be okay for you so here we go I'm going in with Glossier pro tip love it 
and I'm just starting. I've actually gone quite far in this way. Doesn't matter. Now I was going to go with a big flick, but I don't want to. I want to let the makeup do the talking on the outer edge. So I'm going to leave it there. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And follow it in. There we go. That's it. I'm over the moon with that. What I will do today is I'm going to put this on. I'm going to go underneath. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury. It's bedroom black. There we go. Just get a little bit of that on. I think what I will do as well is I'm going to put a bit of the gold underneath and have a bit of sparkle. But what I'm going to do is put a bit of the spiral in at the outer corner. A bit of the gold so it's like um, blended. I'll do the gold first. Try not to touch this palette too much because I don't want the black going everywhere. Super pigmented stuff this. And the brushes are really, really nice. I'm going to use one now actually. It's, um, it's a little pencil brush. Really nice. I'm going to go in with the gold. Just on the lower lash line. Just to give it a bit of something. You could talk, you know, if you didn't, if you want to be make this more wearable, don't put the black underneath. The black on top's fine, but I think when you put black on your lower on your eyelid, so your waterline, you're making it more of an out, like a night out type evening look. It's up to you. I probably would wear it with the black on anyway, I don't care that much. As long as it's not an outrageous colour and black liner. But I think if you're going to go to work, and you want it to look a bit less dramatic, then don't put the go don't put the black on underneath. Just putting the spiral and out the Jeffrey palette on the outer corner now. I'm gonna bring that in. There we go. Sorted. Get some lashes on if I can find them. What we're we using. Right, I was going to use, mm. yeah I'm really loving this one at the minute, I think it's called Dark Love, love it at the minute. I was going to use Glossier but you don't get vampy lashes so I'm not going to use that. That's for if you want really thin separate lashes. You're going you're gonna to hear us, I'm using this one again. There is one I want to get though and I'm dying to try it out, it's Falsies. So at the minute I think it's Maybelline, I'm going to give it a go. Like, I was in super drug today getting some bits and bobs to send off and I noticed it was in the doorway so I need to I need to go back. I was on a mission though. I was getting some lumps up for Martin because he's not well and I had like things in my mind. But when I've got more time to look, I'm gonna hopefully pick that up. I really love this look. It's beautiful. You don't have to be a professional to have makeup on. Just enjoy yourselves and don't beat yourselves up like I do. There's my little bit of advice for you today. I'm going to put some brow on. I think I love me winky looks because I like the name of it. It is nice. So I love the name of it. But I've got, got me brushes in front of us here by the way. That's what you hear I'm rattling. They've all had a wash. I've got, oh, these are the backstage ones. Really impressed with these. Can't wait to try that one out. Haven't used that one yet. I've used this one, I'm going to be using it in a minute. And the eye brushes are perfect. Um, I've lost my winky looks. So that's my little brush thing. I'm trying to clear out, I'm going to make a little desk area. And I'm trying, I love, years ago I used to have Ikea drawers. I don't even know where they went, you know. I've moved so many times and I've ruined, I just don't know where they went. But I could cry. That I'm trying to, well I'm saving up to get some more. I need... I want to get some Ikea drawers like I used to have some put all my makeup away and I found a, like a desk like a little makeup desk it's quite thin and it'll be ideal so I can put all my bits and bobs on it for my videos and then I can still you'll still be really close enough then I can get that ring light set up on it I really need I will work on it I've just it's just money and getting there and then time I'm always at work but I'm getting there and I'm loving it 
so hopefully it'll help the videos a little bit better and I'll have more of a station because I'm kind of in the way and it's, it's stressful to us but there we go that's the eye done I've got my brow on I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll come back yes <laughs> Now that I've got my both eyes done, I'm going to go in and put a bit of the concealer. It's a Milani 220 Creamy Natural. I'm going to put a little bit. Don't use this brush. Where is it? This is not the concealer brush. This is the foundation brush. But I'm going to use a bit of this anyway. This is the Backstage Beauty brush. I'll put a little bit of that there just to highlight under the eye just because I went and got eyeshadow all over my cheeks and someone says don't put your makeup on first like your foundation put it on last so I do half and half right so I've got that on it's got rid of that and I'm going to be going in with some Inglot found this and it is lovely and it'll work perfect with this look I think now which brush yeah I'm going to this one this is mine this is what I'm using and this one is freedom is it freedom yeah I don't know what colour it is it says freedom system but it's so pretty isn't it I'll put a bit of that on <gasps> careful it is super pigmented it's gonna go everywhere this <gasps> Drop that in there. Be careful with the other side. Ooh, it's everywhere. Really nice colour though. This is the side I'm having trouble with. I can't even see what I'm doing because the light. So I'm kind of guessing. Well, I can see what I'm doing with this one. Super light. I need a two. I need two sets of lights really. If I'm need to. Because I want to set my ring light up, but I need to use my iPhone for that because I was trying to work it out the other day how to use my Canon through it. I couldn't figure it out. So, I'm probably putting too much on here, I can't even see. That's the fun about getting ready in the dark. You get into the light and you're like, <gasps> that's why I take makeup wipes wherever I go in case I need to take something back off. So that's Inglot, love. Oh, and I've got some eyeshadows I can't wait to play with in that box, the Inglot, Inglot, I keep on Inglot, Inglot ones. I really can't wait to play with them. This one here is Fenty Beauty and I'm using probably that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be using that one. Is that? No, no. Hmm. No, I'm going to use the other one. Lighting, lightning Dust. This one here. I'm going to use that one. Going in with that brush, it's massive. Will it work? It's not picking much up because it's such a big brush, that's all. Ah, there we go. A bit more on there and I'm going to... Wow. Yeah, that's working. That's really nice. I'm just going to pull that back over and down over that blush. Hopefully I can see what I'm doing on the other side as well. It's really hard. I don't know. I don't know. You can probably see better than I can at the minute. It's so dark. I need some lights. Right. So we've got our eyes on, got our cheeks on, and I've picked a couple of colours for your lips with this. I've been dying to use this one. It's Ciardi, I think Ciardi. And it's the glitter flip. Someone said, put it on your lips, and smack your lips together and something happens. So I'm going to try that. The other one was BH Cosmetics Cashmere. This one here is Perf. Perf. You could use that. Mm-hmm. I'm using this one. This one works better today. So this is lovely. I've used the other one already and it sets gorgeous. It's like a matte 
finish and it lasts all day long. I've got, I got myself a, a big Charlotte Til Tilbury lipstick, Viva La Vigardi, I think it's Vigardi? I got that because I got a sample given off Pixie Rose and I've been wearing it every single day. Like I love it, it's my favourite one for work. It just stays put and it is so my colour, it's so beautiful. Cause I, like, I like colours like this but they don't really do much for me. But if I'm going for like a simple, um, like this is what I usually like to wear when I'm not putting a lot on, I wear just um very minimal foundation because i've got rosy cheeks and sometimes it's annoying sometimes i actually prefer the look of them so i don't like to matte them out i don't like to get rid of it so i like that and i like lots of lashes and a really cute kind of half line so it's not right in the corner because i think when you go in the corner you're getting a different look but i kind of start mine halfway just above the iris it kind of at the start of the iris and then out and I don't even flick it I just kind of it looks doughy like a doughy eye look like Bambi it's cute and it's a fig I figure that it works better with my eye shape so I love doing that I make my eyebrows quite dark and then I'll have the dark lips and I just adore that look at the minute so I've been wearing that most days for work if I haven't got something like this on and I just love it so my lipstick was going down and I thought right I'm going to buy a bigger one so that came this morning, and lovely, I can't wait to use it. There's another one, I think it might be Pillow Talk, I like that one. But there's another little one, which is a darker one, I'll play with that one. But I'm loving the lipsticks from the Charlotte Tilbury, really nice. I used to love my MAC lipsticks, but a lot of them have gone off. So what I'll be doing, and a declutter video on a lot of them, I have to go. But someone says back to MAC, so I'm going to collect them up. I don't know, we'll see, we might get a new lipstick out of it. if Because I've got lots to get rid of. But there you go. I really, really hope you have enjoyed my. Hmm, you go to work, leave the bottom off, and if you're gonna go out and have fun, go for an evening meal. Stick your black liner on your lower lash line and your water line, and it give it some oomph, you know. But if you if you just want to wear it during the day and you want something quite simple and smart, don't put your black on, and it'll work really well for you because it's not overdone. Maybe I could have blended a little bit more into that brown, but I'm loving this colour as a background colour and I'm trying to learn because um, I like quite harsh colours and I love blending, but I'm, my blending skills, I need to really work on them. I'm having fun, I feel like I'm learning all over and it's really good. And I've got loads of makeup and all because of you to play with, to learn and just try out and I hope you're having fun with us. Well, I know I know a lot of you are because I get tons of emails, by the way. Um, so I know that I'm inspiring a lot of you and that makes us feel really good because that's part of the reason why I'm back as well. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this look. Stay tuned because I'm going to do another one and then I've got a package to open because I'm behind on them. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Stay in a bit, stay in a bit, zoom zoom.